who's ahead in this race, as far as you can tell, in finding a vaccine that would be efficacious? You know, it depends on what you mean by temporally ahead or ef efficacy ahead. There's no one that's ahead efficacy because the proof of the pudding is that you need to do the large phase three clinical trial to determine efficacy and to confirm safety. There are a number of vaccines that have already entered phase three trial. There's one from England that is doing one in Brazil and South Africa. There is one that we started here in the 27th of July with Moderna. Pfizer started on the 27th of July. There are other companies that are gonna be starting in the next month or two or three. So you're talking about five or six or more companies, each of which have started at different times. We don't know which one is gonna be better than the other. And you know what I hope? I hope they're all equivalently good because that's what we need. We need vaccines not only for the United States, we need vaccines for the whole world. Uh, Dr. Pacha, are you at all concerned that in the rush, and there's an undoubted rush to try to come up with a vaccine, we may run risks? Because I have read about when the polio vaccine was first developed, the first round of that was really actually deleterious to a lot of children who became paralyzed and even died from it. And they had to go back and sort of reinvent it. Are you worried that we will forego some of the safety that we need in developing that first vaccine here? We, we pay particular attention to safety and the rapidity with which we are moving relates more to technological advances in how you can make a vaccine even before you start testing it. That makes me confident that we are going to do everything we can to determine safety. So when we talk about speed, it doesn't mean sacrificing safety considerations, nor does it mean sacrificing scientific integrity. It means we've been able to do things more quickly because of risks that we take financially. So when people hear risk, they think, oh, is that a risk to me? No, it means that you do things in advance of making investments in preparing clinical trial sites and even starting to manufacture the vaccine before you even know it works. When you do that, if it works, you've saved several months. If it doesn't work, the only thing you've lost is money. And since this is such an urgent situation, the federal government feels it's worth the financial risk to get extra months of it. So it's not gonna be a risk of safety.